Our next question is from Amanda mm -hmm. and she asks, quite a lot of people have heard the Divine Truth teachings, but almost everyone seems to find it difficult to implement in their everyday life. <laughs> is the unwillingness to feel fear the major issue? How do we develop a desire to feel fear? Um, yes, I, I don't know if I would say the unwillingness to feel fear is, a, is the major issue. Mm -hmm. um, it is one of the issues, certainly. But if we, if we look at the number of issues that people have with regard to divine truth mm -hmm. and progressing with divine truth, the first thing that stops us from progressing with divine truth is the inability to receive love and particularly the inability to receive love from God. So that's the very first thing. Can I ask, when you say an inability to receive love, is it, it is. an unwillingness to receive love? Well, in the end, it is. Yeah. It, it, okay. it, I, what I mean is this person is unable, for some reason, whatever that reason is, yeah. to receive love. Sure. Now, it's not because God's unwilling to give it, because God wants to give it. So it's got to be something that's within the individual that causes them to, to not be able to receive love. Now, some people then go, well, it must be some external problem, but it's not. It's, it is definitely an internal problem. So the soul is not willing to receive God's love. So that's the first and largest problem with progressing on the divine love path. Mm -hmm. So I feel we need to emphasize that. Yeah. Fear is not that first problem, although fear may be involved in that first problem. Yeah. But it is not the first problem. The first problem is the inability of, the, of our own soul to be open to the reception of divine love. Now, how do we get our soul open? Mm. Well, we get our soul open through two ways, which we've discussed many, many times. Mm -hmm. We get our soul open by truth, mm -hmm. by being open to receiving truth and being humble to the results of that truth, which is feeling your emotions about the truth, enter, you know, yeah. about the truth you're receiving. Now, they are the main reasons why m people do not receive God's love and therefore do not progress on the divine, uh, with divine truth. They don't progress on the path, the way that God made for us to become at one with God because of those three reasons. Mm -hmm. They are the primary reasons. Now, in amongst all of that, there are now many sub-reasons why we might do such a thing. For, for example, there are many reasons why we may block love. We might be angry with love. Mm -hmm. We might have this concept that we should only, like we shouldn't have to love or any of those kind of things, right? Yeah. Which a lot of people have. So that's anger blocking the reception of love, not necessarily fear. Although fear does drive anger, right? But anger would be perhaps the first emotion that we need to experience. Yeah. We also have many addictions about love or beliefs, false beliefs that appear real to us about love. And sure, they are fears, but again, the truth will deconstruct them mm -hmm. if we're open to receiving the truth. Mm -hmm. So we have to exercise our will to be open to receiving the truth, even from an intellectual perspective, if we're ever going to progress. So I feel the very first problem that people face is an unwillingness to receive love and also give it. Mm -hmm. That's number one. If we worked on that one problem, we would progress very, very rapidly if we were sincere. Mm -hmm. Point number two is there is a complete unwillingness to receive God's truth, to know God's truth, to even live by it in our day-to-day -day life. The majority of people who have heard divine truth are still not living by it five years later. Yeah. Still in complete denial that they're even not even living by it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they, they, they tell themselves they're living by it because they go to a seminar or whatever, but in their day-to-day -day life, they still lie. They still mess with the truth. They don't say the truth to uh, people that are around them. When they're in situations where they feel under pressure to say truth, they, they lie or withhold the truth. This is an indication that they have a big problem with truth. And if you have a big problem with truth, you're never going to get to fear. Yeah. Fear fears, fears underneath all, all of that, but you're never going to get to it if you have a big problem with truth. And then... If you can't feel any emotion, which is humility, a part of humility, then of course you're going to struggle, even when you do hear the truth, to actually feel the unloving emotion that's inside of you that's preventing you from growing. Mm -hmm. So, so they are the three primary reasons why most people are not progressing on the divine 
truth path on yeah. the on the way to God, to become at one with God. Fear, of course, is involved in each one of those paths. So fear is a very, very large problem on the planet. Yeah. It is a huge problem. And fear is often opposing love, yeah. opposing truth, and opposing you being humble. Right? So fear is certainly, and this is why I encourage people to list their fears, to see fear as their friend, because friend the friend tells them what their problems are with regard to love, truth, and humility. Yeah. Every time you're afraid, it's telling you what your problems are with regard to love, truth, and humility. But that's not the way most people see it. Most people, whenever they have fear, see it that they have to justify their fear, that they have to support it, that they have to work along with it. And, they, and people come to us and we say, well, you're afraid about this. They go, no, I'm not. Fair enough. <laughs> what can we do after that? Yep. You think you're not? Fair enough. But you are. And while you remain so, you are not going to be open to receiving love, receiving truth, or being humble to your own emotions. So what are you going to do about that? Just keep telling yourself that you are, that you are already doing it when you're not, plainly not, and nothing's really changing? Yeah. So... so Fear is certainly a problem, but it is not the major problem. I feel the major problem is desire, mm -hmm. which fear also affects. Yeah. The major problem is that people do not have a desire to be loving. They do not have a desire to know the truth. And they do not have a desire to be humble because they see humility as weak. And if you do not have a desire to do those things, you will never, ever want to touch your fear. Yeah. These are all things that are like wrappers that wrap up your fear. Mm -hmm. if, if, uh, so if you don't have a desire to do those three things, you wrap up your fear. It's like you make a present out of it and you hold on to it to yourself. If you develop a desire to love and to be loved and you develop a desire for truth and to speak truth, mm -hmm. to receive it and give it, and you develop a desire to be humble at all times and allow the humility of others, then you'll easily progress on the path of divine truth. Yeah. But the majority of people don't do those three things. And so the majority of people find the path very, very difficult. <laughs> <laughs> very hard to progress when you don't do those three things. Yeah. And fear is certainly involved with each of those things. There are certain fears that we may have that cause us to not want to love or that causes us to not want to receive love. But, uh, but generally, that fear is already wrapped up in addictions and anger. So, so the fear itself is not the problem, mm -hmm. but rather the wrappers that we've placed around the fear are the problem. Yeah. Because we're angry, we're in denial, we're angry, and we're in our addictions. And all of those things prevent us from feeling fear. Mm -hmm. And we have no desire to actually to actually go through those things in order to get to our fear. Mm -hmm. So the second part of this question about how do I deal with my fear? Well, that's not the real question. The real question is how do I deal with my denial? Yeah. How do I deal with my anger? And how do I deal with my addictions? Because once I deal with all of those things, I will feel my fear. Yeah. My fear will naturally come up actually. I, I will place myself, if I'm humble and desire love and truth, I will place myself in situations where generally I feel quite terrified mm. <laughs> and I'll, because I'm humble, will feel the fear eventually yeah. as long as I get rid of my addictions, my denial and my anger. Mm -hmm. As long as I get rid of those things, I will naturally get to my fear. Mm. So it's not really the fear that's the problem. It's the denial of the fear using techniques of addiction of and of anger to, to get the addictions met. Mm. That's the real problem. Are you willing to deal with that? And I, I answer, the majority of people are not. So basically you're saying out there, there are a lot of people who have heard divine truth. Mm -hmm. And the people that who've heard it and have moved on and then new people have heard it and moved many on and moved, moved on, on and, and there's moved been on tens of thousands who have heard it and moved on <laughs> yeah <laughs> and then there's people out there who've heard it and they're still listening mm -hmm. um but i agree with amanda saying that everyone seems to find it difficult to implement of course they do but but only because they are so far removed from those three essentials right. from from receiving and giving love 
from receiving and giving truth and from receiving and giving humility. Yeah. They are, they are removed from those three essentials. And as a result, they are in their addictions the majority of the time and they are unwilling to face their addictions. And you, you cannot get to your fear unless you are willing to face your addictions. So, so fear, yes, it is a problem. It's a huge problem on the planet, but it's not the main reason why we're not feeling our emotions or not progressing towards God. Mm -hmm. The main reason why is because we're unwilling to work through our addictions. Mm -hmm. We're unwilling to look at how we deny our fear, mm -hmm. how we push it down, how we, how we suppress it, how we resist it. So it's, it's all of the, the aspects of denial, resistance, all the basic things about how the human soul functions that are our, are our problem, yep. not the actual fear itself. Because you can have fear in you and still progress as long as you're open to doing these other things. Mm -hmm. The fear will naturally be felt. Mm -hmm. So it's not, fear isn't the cause of you not feeling those particular things. It's, it's certainly a participating um, Factor, factor yeah. but it's not the cause. The cause is your lack of desire to actually live in harmony with love and receive love, live in harmony with truth and receive truth, and live in harmony with humility and be humble mm. and allow other people to do the same. It's interesting, isn't it? Because that's all that you ever talk about. Correct. And so people are obviously attracted to that intellectually. Yes. But emotionally... Um, there's not the implementation of these principles and so their well, there's not a very strong happen. desire to implement yeah. the principles so they love the idea of the end result uh -huh. but they don't want to do the work that gets the end result yes and this is what i find is the problem with most uh, you know other philosophies new age philosophies christian any religious philosophies they say basically you don't have to do the work somebody else will come along and save you Right, and the new age philosophies are all about you know having this technique and it's magical, you know, and it's all everyone say, no, that is not true. Mm -hmm. None of that's true. There is no magical technique here. It, it is going to have to. You're going to have to exercise your will, and you're going to have to exercise it in harmony with love, truth, and humility if you ever want to progress. And if you're not progressing, the only reason why is because you're not doing it. And you can tell yourself you're doing it, but you're not. Mm -hmm. And you can lie to yourself if you want and be, and be self-delusional or, you know, self-deceptive or whatever. But, you, but the fact that there is, if you're not making progress on the path of divine truth, it's because you do not do one of, or more of those three things. Mm. And that's the main reason why. Now, fear is a factor of why you won't do one of those three things. But it's one of many factors. There's anger, too, that causes you to not want to love. Yeah. Right? not want to have to tell the truth or or not want to receive the truth anger causes a lot of the resistance to that there's all of your addictions in play where you believe love to be something completely different to what it really is from god's perspective and you want to hold on to those beliefs because they make you feel nice and fuzzy without you having to have any sincerity or without ha having any pure motive that's something that you want and so you're going to have that until you decide to change that. Mm -hmm. And this is where people don't understand what's really stopping them from progressing. It's not, it's not fear, one emotion, that's stopping anybody from progressing. Fear, shame, you know, grief, any one emotion doesn't stop a person from progressing. What stops a person from progressing is a lack of pure, honest desire to love and be loved, to tell the truth and, and hear the truth and apply it and to be humble and allow the humility to be expressed by others. Mm -hmm. That's what stops you from progressing. Mm. If you do those three basic things, you will always progress. And if you think you're doing those three things and you're not progressing, then you're not doing those three things, <laughs> even though you think you are. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The lack of progress is a direct indicator that you're not doing them because anybody who does them, whether they live here or in the spirit world, always progresses. Great. I don't know what more you can say. I don't think we can say yeah. any more on that subject. Yeah. <laughs>